This is the new Lexus LS, and it wants to convince you that if you're after the ultimate in luxury, you want to buy Japanese, not German. It offers a different experience to the likes of the Audi A8, BMW 7 Series and Mercedes S-Class. But does different mean better? The difference starts with the way it looks. Most limos tend to be quite conservative, but the LS, with its massive grille and slashing headlights, makes more of a statement. I like it. There are two model grades, the F Sport at $196,000 and the Sports Luxury at $201,000. Both prices before on-road costs, and each is available with a 264kW V6 Hybrid or 310kW Twin Turbo V6. Lexus has tweaked both the hybrid and the turbo engine for quieter operation, while also fiddling with the suspension to provide a more comfortable ride. Of course, what really matters with cars like these is the experience they provide, especially in the back. And it's here that the LS Sports Luxury models in particular make a very strong case. It's essentially land-based business class travel. These powered rear seats can cool you, warm you, massage you, and the passenger side even reclines. As long as no one's in the front, of course. There are two large screens for entertainment, controlled by this touchscreen in the centre armrest, while the electric blinds keep the sun out, and the cooler box, only available in the twin turbo models, keeps the drinks chilled. However, if you prefer to do the driving yourself, the F Sport might be the pick, as it includes bigger brakes, rear wheel steering, active anti-roll bars and variable ratio steering for a sharper drive. Both models have a crazy amount of equipment, the highlights being a 23 speaker Mark Levinson stereo, pretty much every safety feature ever invented and a new 12.3 inch infotainment display. Historically to control that you've had to use this touchpad. Now I'm sure a team worked very hard on this, but it's awful, clunky and distracting, like trying to use a mouse with your wrong hand while driving. Thankfully, this is now a touchscreen, so problem solved. Another interesting new feature is this digital rear view mirror. It allows you to see what's going on behind you even if the sun blinds are up. It is a bit distracting, like there's a movie playing in your peripheral vision, but it's easily switched off. Each variant and each engine has its own unique character, so it depends on what you're after. The twin turbo V6 is obviously faster and its torque makes for more relaxed progress, but the hybrid is much more economical, especially around town. The F-Sport is definitely sharper to drive, remarkably so given the size and weight of the LS. The Sports Luxury is more plush and also has all the toys. Personally, I think the twin turbo LS500 Sports Luxury is the pick. It has the ride comfort and effortless performance you'd expect of a car like this, but with masses of technology and luxury gadgets. But is the LS better than its German competition? To a very specific sort of buyer, yes. It's packed with equipment, it's whisper quiet to drive, and its daring design inside and out will appeal to those who want something a little bit different than the luxury norm.